Hello, I'm going to be showing you 10 essential uh, shortcut keybinds you should learn in Photoshop. The first uh, shortcut key you should learn will be the zoom tool. What the zoom tool lets you uh, is zoom is helps you zoom into your image. Like if you need to get close to an image or helps you zoom out of the image if you're too zoomed in. The second tool that you should learn will be the hand tool. The hand tool will help you move around around the image as you see right here now to use the hand tool you have to hold spacebar and then just click and hold with your left uh, with your left mouse click the third shortcut key you should learn is uh, control J what control J does it duplicates the layer let me show an example if uh, let's say uh, let's go to the lasso tool let's go around the apple after I go around the apple, I press Ctrl J. As you see, if you go to the layers, it duplicates it. So now I can just move it around wherever I want it, as you see right here. All right, the next one I'll be showing you is con uh, select all or Ctrl A. With this, does it as as a, as I as what the name suggests? You select the whole layer, as you see right here. If I go to the apple right here and select all, it selects the whole app, the whole layer. And if you want to select all the layers and your like layer panels or whatever, what you gotta click is Control Alt A. As you see, if you look at layer panels, they're like highlighted. That means they're selected. And all I gotta do is just move them around. Now then, this leads to our next uh, shortcut. It is called Control D. What Control D does, it deselects the selection. It is the opposite of Control A, which selects all and makes uh, it selects all of the layer. You can use uh, could like Control D or uh, deselect if you have a, a selection, and then you decide to deselect it. Which also, <laughs> and this also leads to our next shortcut. It is it is Control Shift D. What this does, it reselects the last selection that you deselected. What I mean is, let's say you deselect, deselected like a complicated uh, selection and you didn't mean to. What you can do is Control Shift D and then it'll help you go back to the selection. The next uh, shortcut I'm going to be showing you is Control C or Copy. What it does is whatever selection that you have and you press Control C, you copy that selection and you make like a duplicate. It's similar to Control J and how you duplicate a layer, but this one is to a specific like layer like uh, thing that you selected rather than the whole layer. And then this leads to our next uh, shortcut. It's Control V. What Control V is it, it, it pastes the selection that you copied instead of uh, duplicating instead of control J which duplicates the whole layer control V is the specific selection that you copied with control C as you see I pasted the thing that I selected rather than the whole image as you see control X is similar to copy and pasting uh, what it does it literally cuts out the image but you can paste it back in wherever you want it to be let's say this selection right here as you see on my mouse it may not be there but it's copied what am i what i mean by this is uh, if you press ctrl v and you can paste it it's similar to copying it but you don't uh you don't copy and it's there instead it just uh gets out and then you just paste it again by using Control V. All right, the next shortcut I'm going to be showing you is Control Z. What Control Z Control Z does? It undoes what you do, as you see right here. That means um, you literally just undo what you've done. Like if you made a mistake, let's just say, like let's say you accidentally delete this image, you just press Control Z and then you undo it. Now then, let's just say um, you undoed a bit too much. Let's say like you did a bit too much, 
and then you made a mistake and you don't want to do it again. Now, what you can do is called redo. It's control shift Z. It is the opposite of control Z or undo. And it literally does what you did. And then if I do, uh, it goes back where like I uh, accidentally cut the image. And the last image, the last uh, shortcut uh, I'm going to be showing you is control T or free transform. What free transform does is it uh, selects like the whole image or like the selection that you have. And then you can actually just, as it says, a free, like transform the image as whatever you want. As you see right here, I can shrink it small. I can make it bigger. And here, let me tell you this. If you uh, hold shift and then you press the angles right here, you can actually change like you can stretch it as you see right here. You can actually change the whole size, the width and the height rather just the thing like this. These are all the 10 essential shortcuts that you should learn. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.